Amid the rain and tropical heat of Manus Island, Australian and Papua New Guinean defence engineers are constructing several classrooms at the Lombrum Naval Base. It's part of the long-running annual exercise Puk Puk. I think the, the best thing about it is you're working with the PNGDF in their country, experiencing their culture, and you're doing real-time tasks. A range of civil works are taking place, roads and drainage are being worked on and defence tradespeople are going through the homes of personnel doing electrical and other odd jobs. The, the families and everybody is so, so excited to see the student you know, battalion, especially the classrooms have run down but um, the boys are working here that will bring a, a very big impact to the people. The community and the kids are so lovely, they get around it, they help us. Um, we get bring, brought fruit every day and yeah, they, they love it and um, yeah, we get waved at constantly so it's been really good. The naval base looks very different to a few years ago when it was home to an immigration detention centre. Australia is funding a major redevelopment here due for completion by late next year. Lombrum will house a fleet of Guardian class patrol boats gifted to PNG by the Australian government. And it's hoped the base will eventually host an Australian contingent and facilitate better cooperation between the two countries. There are opportunities for us to do more training out of there and base uh, deployments and operations if that uh, suits the needs of the Papua New Guinean government. Australia's defence cooperation program with PNG is the largest it has with any country. A bilateral security treaty was announced earlier this year to create a legal framework for current and future activities in the region. Negotiations were meant to be finished by May but it hasn't been easy and the countries are still at the negotiating table. We have a national constitution and our country's laws to comply with so uh, ensuring that the, uh, 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 the treaty that we will sign is, is, is uh, legally compliant on our side as well as it's legally compliant on their side. We're hoping to conclude negotiations shortly, but I'm not going to put a specific month on it. it, it, it the important thing is to get it right, to, to, to get an agreement that supports the security and sovereignty of both nations, and I'm confident we'll get there. Those at the exercise say it's links like these that will support a future treaty. It's like bringing us together, building that relationship, making it more firm and strong, you know. It's all good to have a, a, an agreement between nations at that national security level, but unless you've also got the people-to-people -people links and you understand each other genuinely, um, then it's not, it doesn't work as well. Building common ground while negotiations drag on. Tim Swanston, ABC News, Manus Province.